So related to the concept of the illusion of control are a few other uh, concepts that we want to address. Largely they come under the, ca the category of miscalibration and that is our, our tendency to overestimate our knowledge and underestimate the risks of being wrong. There are two um, uh, concepts within miscalibration that I want to talk about. The first one is the better than average effect and that is most people believe uh, they can achieve above average results in their fields despite uh, a lack of evidence. Uh, or they may feel that they're more uh, intelligent or more skilled or more able to uh, take information and translate it to decisions. In a, uh, in a, in a uh, graduate class I was teaching uh, recently, we had 35 students, uh, graduate students, and I asked them to, uh, to tell me uh, if they uh, felt that they were in the top 10, uh, uh, top 10 percent of intelligence in the class, um, just raise your hand, and or actually write it down and then raise your hand later on. Uh, the the uh, the result was um, 20 percent of uh, people uh, felt that they were in the top 10 percent uh, of intelligence, which is obviously uh, impossible given the math. Uh, when you ask the people if you think you are above average intelligence uh, for people your age around the world or for people in your occupation around the world, uh, they also uh, tend to overestimate their level of intelligence relative to these norms that we were talking about. Sometimes they mistake um, uh, their, their educational attainment for intelligence. The question was about intelligence. Uh, but there is a clearly a better than average effect going on. The other uh, concept is uh, excessive optimism. And the optimism uh, bias is a belief that you are at less risk of experiencing negative event. Um, a classical negative event that uh, I was recently talking to some friends about uh, who are smokers uh, was about their, um, their likelihood of, of uh, getting cancer. And uh, we found that in uh, discussions with these folks that they actually had excessive optimism. That is, uh, for no reason, they have no indication they're genetically more or less disposed, predisposed to uh, getting cancer, they felt that their, um, their um, chances were, were quite low, uh, almost zero. So these are uh, two concepts that have to do with the illusion of control. But uh, even more largely, these uh, play into an even bigger concept that we want to talk about, which is overconfidence. Overconfidence is different from confidence. Confidence is your ability, your feeling you, you have the ability to achieve something. Overconfidence is something entirely different. It can be quite uh, a damaging um, uh, cognitive bias that can cause you to take on much more risk than is, uh, than is logical. 